Welcome once again back to the lab. It is your old Professor Pilk, and we really need to have a discussion today about the new incoming seven star raid. Now, this uh, Typhlosion uh, will have a ghost terror type, and it will be running not only this weekend, but the subsequent following weekend. So, April the 14th through 16th, that is actually going to drop on the 13th for many of us, and once again, the 21st through the 23rd. So what does this really mean? Well, essentially, what's really hype about this is that this means that we're going to have two uh, every two weeks, at least for the foreseeable future, we are going to have a unique seven-star raid experience. And that is really nice. I think as far as keeping the game fresh, that is awesome. Because then if you miss it the first weekend or you have you know a major mess up, not able to do it, or you just don't have the right team, that means that the following weekend, you can actually go in, run it again, and get what you need. Plus, having Ditto uh, run just this past weekend, most everybody should have their breeding Dittos ready to go. And if you were still concerned about how to get a uh, Masuda Ditto, the actual Ditto that increases your shiny rates, I'll cover that one more time in a video coming up here later on this week, uh, probably tomorrow or the day after, hard, hard to tell, because we really need to talk about Typhlosion. Now, Getting back to Typhlosion here, speaking of which, uh, the main takeaway is, and we saw this actually with Decidueye, is that while he's a normal fire type with a Ghost Terra, that kind of emulates the Hisuian version. Quite a bit, actually. Uh, so we can kind of use that as our base level. Now, if I go all the way down here, okay, uh, and you really want to focus this around that Ghost type. That Ghost type's going to be really important. But we're going to use the stats for regular Typhlosion. We don't want to use the Hisuian stats. Those could be very different. So while the Terra type does kind of emulate the Typhlosion Hisuian version, we're using the stats from the basic uh, Typhlosion. So HP, actually HP is a little lower on the, on the Hisuian version. So HP you can expect to be about a base level of 78. Obviously modify that for the level 100. Uh, physical attack is 84, but special attack is 109, so you're really looking at mostly special attacks incoming. Also, uh, defense is 78, but special defense is 85, and speed is 100, so it's a little bit of a faster mon. Not the fastest mon we've dealt with by a, by a large margin, but it is still going to be speedy, and it's going to have lower defense, but higher special attack. So having special defense and physical attack will be key to getting some real, you know, having really good defensive and offense and offensive structure in the incoming uh, battle. Now, if we go down here to the move sets, and I'm actually going to go to the Hisuian version, because you can see up here, uh, weaknesses are normal rock and water. I kind of get the feeling that we are probably dealing more with either a ghost or a dark type. And I really love the the idea that the dark type is what you're going to need here because that's going to give you a lot of immunity and it's pretty much neutral to typhlosion's other attacks so i really like that but there's an exception here now in the move sets pretty much everything's fire normal or steel so the the base move sets are pretty straightforward but as we've seen before you can get types from tms so that includes, uh, once again, normal, fire, but also we have some fighting moves. We have low kick. We have brick break. You have stuff like that. Now, those are physical moves. The good news is there uh, that the and I honestly think that, oh, focus blast. Oof. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen something like that on a mod. It's a very, very... I mean, it's okay. 70% isn't very, very low, but it's lower than what I would normally want to build on a mon. But we actually might see Focus Blast here. And if that connects, that's going to be deadly. So we have Focus Blast. Obviously, we have Reversal. I think, honestly, either Focus Blast or Brick Break are really the two more likely options. And the fact that Focus Blast is here really makes me second guess bringing in a Dark Unit. But I did say that last time with Decidueye, and Decidueye turned out to be much easier to handle than what I initially presumed, especially considering the mod before that I severely underestimated. So, you know, we'll have to see. But the main thing, the main takeaway here is, guys, um, as much as I would love to tell you to start building a dark mod, 
I kind of feel like there's enough fighting moves here that Dark might be out of the picture. So what would you want to do instead? Well, you still have rock, ground, and uh, water. So do we have anything that, that water would be strong against? And let's see here. Um, so water wouldn't be strong against flying, but rock definitely would. Uh, let's see. Does he have any? Hmm. Does he have any f ground or rock moves? Uh, does have obviously dark moves. We've got, we do have a ground move. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. I kind of still, I, I, I'm probably kind of leaning on the idea that maybe dark will be the way to go because they did nerf uh, Samurai quite a bit. So I'm really kind of hoping that dark is the way to go here because especially with ghost. If you're going to be attacking a ghost unit, you really do want to have, um, you really want to have uh, stab advantage and type advantage. So, really hoping dark is the way to go. So, like your king gambits and stuff like that might not be bad choices. But I've really got to think this think this through, especially considering we got that fire. So king gambits actually kind of out with that that uh, thank you king gambits. What uh, I think he still retains the, the steel types. But we'll actually have to go through and plan this out a little bit because there's normal firefighting, flying, ground rock, which knocks a lot of that other stuff out, dark, fighting, psychic, ghost. We've got really solid coverage here. Now, uh, we did talk about highly, highly likely that we'll have focus blast here. Let's see if there's a fighting move down here. So, low kick can be learned. That's a swing uh, by breeding. So, let's see what we, what we can learn by breeding. Um, double kick can be learned by breeding. Reversal can be learned by breeding. So, you have a lot of options there. Um, I'm really hoping that fighting is knocked out, though, because it would make life so much simpler. Uh, we do have an electric uh, uh, electric attack there, so you probably want to stay clear of that. It's really tough. I, this is one of those, another one of those where we have great coverage. I think, the, honestly, the, the best bet would be to see what happens when this mon drops. But we're going to see if we get some more clues. Maybe the, uh, with the last one, they actually dropped some of the move sets early, so we had something to plan for. I'm going to start looking at Dark. I'm going to start eyeballing that, but I'm not ready to commit to it quite yet. There's a distinct possibility with the HP being lower, they might actually take away the ability for us to use something that's super effective. So do be aware of that too. That could be a trap, and they could be trying to get us to just use a mod that they know is going to be ineffective when... Let's see, what mod would be uh, neutral? Flying Electric, Psychic, and Dragon. Ooh, Dragon again. So that's a distinct possibility. Those might be our options. And there's a lot in there that could be very physical with a lot of special defense. So that might be a good backup option. I'm going to research this a little bit more. I'll be back here shortly to discuss this. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And I know a lot of people are hyped for Typhlosion. I personally am. It's the starter that I chose when I actually did my uh, Legends Arceus run through. And let me know what you guys think down below because I'm thinking about restarting either Legends Arceus or actually going out and buying Sword and Shield and actually playing through that because I had never actually played through those games. Let me know which of the two that you'd rather see in the comments down below if we were going to do a playthrough on the channel. And... And let me know what you think of Typhlosion as a 7-star raid. But for now, like, comment, share. I'll be back with more. We're going to deep dive into the movesets, deep dive into what Pokemon you want to bring, and we'll bring all that to you here really soon.